had comedones, I had whiteheads, I had pimples that were so deep underneath the surface that I couldn't pop them, but I would still try to pop them. I was one of those people that were always picking at their face. Hey guys, it's Boots. Today I'm going to give you guys all of my skincare tips and my skincare routine. I'm going to show you guys all the products that I use. Um, yeah. So your face is really important. It is your business card. You will forever have this face. So let's take care of it. When I was in high school, that is when I started to have really big problems with my skin. And the whole time I just kind of thought like, oh, I'm just going through puberty. That's why I'm getting these pimples. So I just thought that everyone had the skin that they had because of genetics. I thought, oh, I have pimples and acne. That's just in my genes. It'll go away on its own. And it never did. So when I finally graduated and I still had acne, I was like, okay, it's time to do something about it. I had comedones, I had white heads, I had pimples that were so deep underneath the surface that I couldn't pop them, but I would still try to pop them. I was one of those people that were always picking at their face. I had pimples all over this part of my face, all over my T-zone. It was covered. Not only was it covered in pimples and comedones and whiteheads, it was also covered in scabs because I didn't know how to deal with my acne properly and no one in my family really knew how to either because everyone has different skins so what works for your aunt might not work for you. And so it was really frustrating, I felt really ugly. Every day I would cake on makeup to cover up all my acne and you could still see like throughout the day when my scabs would like eat up my makeup and you could see it. It was so bad. And it's so crazy to think about how far I've come. I started to actually do something about my skin because I started trying to model. I started trying to model when I was like in my junior slash senior year of high school. So I was like 17, 18 years old. And I was like, okay, I want my skin to look better in photos. I want to get work. I want to like actually be with an agency. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do something about my face. When I graduated high school, I knew that I needed to educate myself about my skin. And what better way to do it than to go to esthetician school. So I went to esthetician school. And the first thing that I learned was that I needed a face routine. What I mean by that is if you give your skin an everyday routine, then it's gonna know how to react. So if I wash my face, moisturize it, and tone it every single day, then my skin is gonna know what to react to and it'll react to it nicely. Versus if you have no routine, every day you're throwing new chemicals at it, new different products, then your skin's never gonna know how to react. It doesn't know what to do with all these different chemicals that you're putting on your face. So that was number one, have a routine. In my school, they educated us about what we're putting on our faces, like what chemicals, what brands actually care about your face. And so they pushed this product onto us. It was a brand called Dermalogica. And at first it was like, it, it just sounded to me like every other skincare brand. You know, there's brands like Proactive and Mira that you hear about all the time. You see celebrities like Justin Bieber say, Proactive saved my life when it's like, no, it didn't. And everyone that's tried Proactive knows that like, once you get off of Proactive, you're screwed. Because, I don't know, there's just something in those products that isn't good for your face. So, anyways, I got put onto Dermalogica and we were educated about the brand and I first learned about it before I actually tried to use it. And they're a brand that carefully selects the right packaging for their products. They don't use fragrances and perfumes in their products, and they don't use any kind of colorings in their products. So that's why I actually used Dermalogic. I was like, oh, it sounds like a brand that really cares about their consumer skin, and they actually want you guys to have nice skin. So these are the products that I use from Dermalogic that have saved my life, and this is not a sponsored video. I've never gotten free products from Dermalogica or any of these other brands that I use. I've bought it with my own money. Yeah, so let's get started. The first step that I use is the pre-cleanse. So this is an oil that removes all of the oil and the dirt 
and whatever has built up throughout the day on your face. And it has all different kinds of oils. This is a non-comedogenic oil, and what that means is it's not gonna clog your pores, so it's safe to use. And I use this to remove everything. It takes off my mascara, my eyeliner, my eyeshadows. It just comes off like, like water when I use this, so I love it. And I bought all these products in the biggest sizes that I could, because that's how much I love it. So I use this, and I massage my face for like five minutes in little circles to promote blood flow in my face. Because the more blood that you can get to come up to your face, the more any problems that you have in your face will go away because blood will heal any like pimples or scabs and dark spots that you have. So it's good to massage your face. So that's what I do with this. Okay, after that, I rinse it off and I go ahead and I apply my special cleansing gel. With this, this just is your basic cleanser. It's uh, soap free. So this removes all of your impurities without disturbing your skin's natural moisture balance. So it doesn't remove any of the good oils that you have in your face, which is really good because a lot of these other um, cleansers have soap. And if you're using just straight up soap on your face, you're taking off all of your skin's natural oils, which you need for your skin to be healthy. So that's another thing. Like I said, like 50 million times, I love this stuff, it's so good. After I wash that off, I go ahead and I use my moisturizer from CeraVe. I use this brand because, again, they use no fragrances and it's very lightweight and it has no coloring in it either. So, yeah. I always read through all of the ingredients that are listed in my skincare products because it's important to know what you're putting on your face. Like I said, you get one face. Don't mess it up, like take care of it. It is your business card. When you meet someone, they look at your face. So um, it's pretty moisturizing and it's really basic. The first time that I ever went to an esthetician, she said to me, bring me everything that you have in your shower and in your bathroom, anything that you might be putting on your body, your head, your face, any of it. And when I brought her everything, it was like a big bucket full of stuff. And she was like, oh my god, what are you doing with all this? All you need is a good cleanser and a good moisturizer. Then you can build off of that. But until you have your moisturizer and your cleanser set, then like don't do anything else because you need, those are the only two products that you really need. So I went and I looked for the most basic moisturizer and that's what this is. It moisturizes my skin. My skin looks really, really good healthy, moisturized, happy. I'm happy. So after I moisturize, I apply this toner. It's an ultra calming mist. And this is from Dermalogica as well. It's a soothing, hydrating mist that quickly relieves sensitivity while helping to calm redness, stinging, or aggravated skin. I bought this one because when I was younger, I had a lot of rosacea on my cheeks, which I don't really have so much anymore. But I just have always had super sensitive skin. So Dermalogica has an entire line called Ultra Calming. And it uses like stuff like lavender and all these other kind of botanical extracts that help soothe red and flame skin. So that's why I use this one and I love it. What I use to spot treat on any pimples that I see um, coming in is the Clinique Acne Solutions All Over Clearing Treatment. I've been using this for a couple years now. The main ingredient in this one is benzoyl peroxide and it actually has a really high percentage of it. It has 2.5%. And I started using this when I first was looking for products to clear my skin. I use this one because it works really good. Like whenever I have a pimple, I just put it on and I leave it and the next day it's always smaller or gone. I don't know what it is, but um, this one also has no fragrances. It's worked really, really well. I've actually finished two entire bottles of this. This is my third time buying it, and it lasts a really long time. So, bomb, super bomb. I recommend this highly. And it doesn't dry out your skin either. One thing that I use whenever I know I'm going to be in the sun all day is sunscreen. I won't use it if I'm not going to be in the sun because most um, people are vitamin D deficient. 
So it's not good to put on sunscreen all the time, but if you know you're going to go out and you're going to be in the sun, then put sunscreen on your face because those UV rays are extremely damaging to your skin. So these are the two uh, sunscreens that I use. This one's from Dermalogica and this one is from Art Naturals. There are two different ones. This one's more liquidy and this one is like a solid. This is what it looks like. It looks like a little deodorant stick. And I really like the one from Art Naturals because it's made of mineral sunscreen and it feels really moisturizing. It's great as a primer. It leaves a little bit of like a milky tint, but if you blend it in, it's good. Sometimes I use the Dermalogica one because this one's super moisturizing as well. But these are just like my two favorites. I don't like using brands like Banana Bow. I don't like using any of those like Target CVS brands when I'm putting it on my face because I just don't feel like those big monopoly kind of brands care about what their chemicals are doing to your skin. So I like to use smaller brands like these that are more focused on using natural ingredients and stuff. So these are my two face sunscreens. Last but not least, every now and then I'll do a mask. I don't do them very often because I feel like my face routine is just so good and wholesome. But when I feel like my skin has been put through a lot, if I've been in the sun, I just went to the beach the other day, then I'll use this colloidal mask base. And this is just a super hydrating mask. And it has green tea extracts, so it's very soothing and calming. And um, it's just meant to cool your skin, hydrate it, if your skin feels like overly processed, I would use this. If you've been in the sun all day, I would use this. It's so nice. Last but not least, these are a couple things that you should not do. Like I said before, I praise Dermalogica for using good packaging. Praise them for not using fragrances. I praise them for not using colorings and dyes in their products. One of the big things that I learned from esthetician school is you should not really be using products in jars on your skin. Why? When you have to open a product every single day to use it, you're exposing the product to the air. So that means it's going to oxidize. So think about when you cut an apple in half and you leave it out. After a day, it gets really ugly and brown because it's oxidizing. That's what happens when you expose products natural things to the air. They just go bad, you know? So when you have a really expensive product like this in a jar and you're opening it every day, it's gonna oxidize. And you don't wanna put oxidized products on your skin. Another thing is, if you have it in a jar, you're constantly forced to put your fingers in the jar to take it out, and that means you're introducing new bacteria into the jar. And you're closing it every day, and you're letting that bacteria ferment in here. And then the next day, you're going to grab it again and you're going to put it all over your face. And you're very prone to breaking out at that point. So jars are a big no-no. It's just not good. I recommend you to use anything that has a pump, anything that's like airtight and sealed, anything that you don't have to grab and like reach in for. So that's everything that I know about skin. That's all the things that I use every single day on my face. I have my routine, I have my sun care products that I use. That's really all there is to it for me. And I'm so happy with my face now. It's so soft every single day and I couldn't be happier. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I hope this helps someone out there that's like struggling with their skin. Uh, I know it's really hard to fight acne, but you just have to keep like trying to understand your skin, keep reading those ingredient labels and like educating yourself about what you need to do for your skin. All right.